Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a Grand Theft Auto style game in Unity and welcome to episode 49. In this tutorial we're going to add in another menu which is going to be for our trophies, we're going to add a button onto our screen for it and we're going to link everything together and start piecing together the UI for the trophies. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series and everything else on game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So, trophies or achievements, however you want to look at them. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to move down our quit button a bit further and I'm going to duplicate the credits button and I'm going to rename it as trophies. Obviously if you want achievements, completely fine. Uh, and then I'm also going to move that down to probably about there. And while we're at it, let's change the text to both of it to say trophies. Uh, now since the last tutorial, uh, I have actually gone through the rest of the buttons and I've altered when we hover over them. Uh, but it's worth noting now that whenever you create a new button, it automatically does it. Cool. So let's now create a new scene for our trophies. And we'll do this fairly quickly because it's something we'll build upon. I just want the idea of a menu we can see where our trophies are. And then we'll create uh, the button to link to it all and back again. And then we will basically create a little UI for the trophies. So let's go to File, New Scene, and then File and Save As. Let's go to our Scenes folder and we'll save it as Trophies. And while we're at it, let's go to File, Build Settings, and Add Open Scenes. Now, I'm just going to have this as a black background just for now. Like I say, we'll probably enhance it a little more, but for now, we just want the basic UI in place. So, Game Object, UI, uh, Raw Image. Let's go on the canvas and let's make sure we scale it again. So, change the scale mode to with screen. 1920 by 1080 and match 0.5. Let's take our raw image background and let's stretch it all across the scene. Zero, 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 zero. And let's change it to black. So next thing, let's make this look a little better. Let's go to game objects. Let's have UI. Let's also have text. Let's change this to trophies and let's have the good old font that we usually have, the price down. Let's also change it to white and make it considerably bigger. So let's have 60 and then let's resize. Might be a bit too small still. Uh, 100. There we go. And we'll have it up here. And I'm also going to um, duplicate that. And I'm going to change this to be the count. So let's have zero out of, in fact, well, double zero out of, let's say, 15 for now. So we could have 15 trophies. Who knows? We might have more, might have less. Uh, we'll rename that text to trophy count. Uh, so now what we'll do is we will create a small little UI section for each of those trophies. So let's go to game object UI and I'm thinking, should we use a, um, a panel? Let's see how panel looks first of all. We might change. Um, we don't want it stretched. Let's have it top left. And let's manually adjust the size. So probably around that size. That should do. And next I want to bring in an image. So let's game object UI and let's have raw image. And I'm going to couple it inside that panel and move it into position round about there and probably increase the size 120 by 120 and obviously you should take a lot more time doing this than what I do this is just me quickly setting up some UI to get into place um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the textures folder right click create a new folder and we'll call this one trophies so let's get ourselves a blank trophy that we can use so whenever a trophy is locked we're going to use this image uh, let's drag and drop this and you can get this on my website if you head over there downloads and assets um, GTA tutorial number 49 you can download this for free and we just need to attach that texture over here so this is how it currently looks in our game 
Next thing, let's create a trophy name and a description. So inside that panel, let's right click, uh, add some UI, let's have it text. And we'll have this as 60 uh, font. We'll, we'll keep everything priced down because I like that font. It fits really well with what we're doing here. Uh, let's change it to white again. And this description can be, we'll just call it three years later. And that will be title. Um, we'll have locked IMG. And then I'm actually going to duplicate that locked IMG, place it just there, and we'll have unlock. But I'm actually going to turn it off up here. We're getting this in place for when the trophy is unlocked. So when we've activated it, instead of appearing as the trophy icon, it will be an actual image that we have placed there. So there's our title. Let's hold control, press D. Maybe change the font size to a little bit smaller. And then a brief description of what the trophy is. So let's say um, and I'm going to say whacked by Jimmy Horseface, but we've not been whacked, have we? Um, after being set up, you have entered the world of Grand Theft Auto. Uh, maybe change the font size so it fits a little more. There we go. How does that look? Not entirely convinced. I'm thinking maybe we need to reduce the size of our title quite considerably and increase the size of our description quite considerably. So that should be, there we go. How's that? Cool. So there is a brief and quick little trophy icon that we can use. So let's have that as description, if I spell it right. And now once you have one, so we'll have this as trophy zero one. We could duplicate all of that and just bring it down. And that will be trophy two. And obviously you would change uh, the images and titles and all stuff like that. And I'll, I'll just have them three for now and see where we get to. So that's how the scene would look. Cool. So next, what we need to do is we need to have a button that takes us back to our main menu. So firstly, let's save this scene and we're going to cheat a little bit. So let's go to our scenes folder. Let me close up some of these here. Let's go to the scenes folder and let's go to the main menu. And let's actually steal this options one. So let's copy that options button, head back into trophies and let's paste it and drag it into the canvas. And then we will just place it at the bottom right there. So now if we press play and hover over that button, it should still have the same effect. Cool. So let's change that to say back to menu. And then let's change the text in this to say back to menu. And as I said earlier, once you've created duplicates of buttons, it will still work as intended. So we want to be able to click that and head back to our main menu. So let's now create a quick little script, which is going to be used to control this trophy scene. So let's go to our script folder. UI, right click, create, and C sharp, and we'll have this as trophy uh, manager. Now, at the moment, there's only going to be one, uh, well, two little lines of code in this script. Um, I'm not going to upload this to the website. Oh, thanks, Malwarebytes. I will update you. Um, I'm not going to upload it to the site just yet because this script is going to grow in size, much like I did with the main menu. It's probably something I'll incrementally add to the website as it grows and grows. Uh, so what we need to do is using Unity Engine dot Scene Management semicolon, and I'm sure you guys know by now because it's a button. We need to have a public void 
return to menu, open close bracket and open curly bracket. And we'll place here, I'm not gonna do anything fancy. You can if you want, you know, much in the same way as we did with the um, main menu, you can add the effects if you want to. Uh, for convenience sake, I am just gonna have scene manager dot load scene and I think it's scene zero, isn't it, at the moment? Let me double check. It is. So for now, we need scene zero. Close bracket, semicolon, and save. And then let's head back into Unity. And let's make sure we have an empty game object to have trophy control because our trophy manager script is going to go onto there. Let's bring it to the top to tidy it up a little. So back to menu button. Let's have on click, list is empty. Let's click plus, drag and drop trophy control, no function, trophy manager, return to menu. So that should take us back to the menu and I'm not going to test it just yet. I'm going to do the same in the main menu and then test it all together. So let's head to our main menu. And then let's edit this trophies. So we need to go to our main menu controls and we need to add another uh, set of method and coroutine. So I'm going to copy this public new game, all of that down here. And we'll have this one as public void trophy menu. And we'll have trophy start and we'll rename that to trophy start and it is as quick and as simple as that uh, i think it is scene three which is our trophies is that right so let's have scene three save head back to unity let me quickly make sure it is scene three uh yes scene number three there we are so let's go to our trophies button which i'm going to bring up beneath credits and let's have uh, on empty so, oh this is empty on click uh, main menu controls no function main menu control and we want trophy menu and let's save and let's see if this whole process of going to our trophy menu and back works as intended cool there's our trophies and let's go back to menu Awesome. Let's start a new game, I guess. And yep, so everything is working as intended. So the last thing we're going to do in this tutorial is quickly place in the UI that we're going to use on screen for whenever a trophy pops in game. And because we've already done most of that UI work, we can kind of cheat a little once again. Um, so trophies, and let's take this panel, which is the trophy 01, copy it head into our open world and I'm going to place it here and then drag and drop into our canvas which is right there and it will appear roughly about there whenever we have activated the trophy. So for now we're going to disable that uh, UI because when I want that to pop is going to be uh, a little later on. But what I'm thinking at the moment is because there are other UI elements in the scene, let's quickly check how this looks on the scene whenever it would pop. Because I think I need it to be below the little hint area that we have. So let's just quickly see if this is okay. And... Okay, so now let's turn the trophy on. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's fine. One thing though we may need to make a little bit darker is the panel colour itself. So if I set it to black and turn the alpha... Yeah, so I'll have it as black and the alpha about 200. So uh, black and 200 on the alpha and it's still off. And let's save that. Okay, so now we have all the UI together, we have everything ready. What we're going to do in the next tutorial is we're going to create two unlockable trophies. The first one is going to be when we enter that world, 
Uh, but we're not going to do it as soon as that cutscene starts. We're only going to activate it at a certain point. So we need to create a trophy control and probably another trophy for maybe uh, getting into a car for the first time. So until that next tutorial, thanks very much for watching, guys.